Thursday night, folks. Welcome aboard. It's time for Cacophony. We're glad to have you with us. Uh, if this is your first time, maybe <clears throat> doing the pre-crit or whatever, welcome aboard. If you are a returning viewer, thank you very much for coming back. You can follow us on Twitch, follow us on Twitter, take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot the shit about D&D, &D, join our Discord. If you want to buy cool crap like this sweatshirt or this phone case or, I don't know, a toilet seat cover, a shower curtain, whatever, uh, the link is down below. Uh, most importantly, if you want to be on the show, either the one shot this Saturday or the talk shows on Tuesday, hit us up, M Hobo Inc., Twitter, Gmail, we will get you on there. Uh, we'd like to thank our sponsors, Pirate Dog Dice on Twitter, at Pirate Dog Dice, Ooh. big red there. Uh, hit them up if you're looking for customized dice. And if your game stinks, unlike the scent of success we exude, uh, you can grab yourself some uh, $5 adventure scents. They come in 60 different scents. They are marvelous, except for the ones that Kyle uh nearly committed suicide on by breathing too heavy so make note uh putrid sewers, yeah putrid sewers is not something you mess around with do not eat these do not inhale them uh the uh, oddfishgames.com also makes the shine system so if you want to write gooder than me check them out and they are rapidly uh or they are working tirelessly on rapidly deploying uh the kickstarter rewards from how to rpg with your cat so if you were a supporter like myself uh hang on uh it is a coming like i said tonight is cacophony we're about to lose one of our players for a moment but let's go ahead and introduce you to the other player and then uh, we'll do the recap so david who are you and who do you play I am David. I am the other player. <laughs> I play Zadar. He is the uh, changeling. We'll, we'll say that. <laughs> Arcane trickster. Uh, you never know what form Zadar will take. He will. Uh, he or she will either take, you know, any form of any celebrity from the '80s or anything like that. So you've been a chick forever, man. Yeah, I've been the Jessica Rabbit chick for a while. Yeah. Uh, as soon as our, yeah, as soon as our other player comes back, uh, we will let her introduce herself. Uh, these two are in the gnomish capital of Nathian, uh, desperately seeking answers for a time travel conundrum by their friend and quasi-mentor, uh, Mortimer J. Sneed. Uh, joining us again is our producer. Uh, tonight she is in front and behind the camera. Carrie, who are you? Who are you playing? Uh, I'm Carrie. I am the resident puppy dog wrangler, which is why I disappear most of the time. Uh, and I play Camille, a halfling necromancer and she got her cheese. She's very happy about the cheese. She was very happy. She got a last... lot of cheese. Yeah. And Java. You and got Java, Java too. Yes. So, yeah. so she's feeling a little bit better now. Well, you are in civilization. These guys are in the city of Nathan, as I said. They are staying at Millie's place. Millie D's Nuts, a relative of their former boss in Cacophony. Uh, these guys are, again, seeking the uh, resolution for the time travel problem plaguing Mortimer J. Sneed. Uh, they also have a small problem about destroying a box. Uh, so they last week they got to be judges in the Asiago celebration. Uh, they met somebody with a wheel of cheese on their head, and they also met one of the acolytes from the Great Library of Andura. This place holds more shit uh than the national archives uh and that is why they are here they're right here on a minotaur vessel uh they've already run into monks that they are quite familiar with but the monks are not here for them they are here for an associate of theirs a former associate so as we rejoin them on day dose you guys wake up in the ramada slash millie's <laughs> place on the balcony <laughs> The sun is beaming through the window, and you guys arise. 
uh, with a constitution roll. Give me a constitution check. Let's see if you're plugged up from all that cheese. Oh, no. <laughs> Twelve. Right. Constitution, huh? Yep. Uh, yeah, fourteen. <laughs> uh, you guys are not, not feeling great. Yeah, you guys aren't feeling sparky. Uh, you had a lot of cheese. Uh, a it lot. Was worth it. A lot of cheese. Uh, but you feel good enough to go down and maybe find some breakfast. Remember, mm -hmm. you are meeting your new friend Phineas Ferb. Uh, at noon at yes. the cabbage something. Patch. Cabbage patch. Uh, so you guys have the morning free to go ahead and wander Nathan. What would you like to do first? Hmm. Well, let's, let's help you out. Okay. okay. So let's go ahead and show the screen. You guys are in Millie's place, the purple location right up here. Uh, Nathan is divided into two by the river. Uh, again, you have the narrow bridge, which you do not cross at night, you've been told. And of course, the main bridge uh, right here is the cabbage patch, which you have a lunch appointment with. And of course, the great library of Andorra. Um, and this is where the cheese fest was, the Asiago celebration. Right. So what would you guys like to do tonight? Or well, today? it looks like there's a couple of food places almost right next to us. Is Are they like actually one right next door? What <laughs> is that? Uh, that is a fishery. Oh, <gasps> maybe they have locks. Ooh. Fins, fins. Fishery. P -H -I -N -S. Fins, fishery. Okay. If you and want what locks, a... we can go. Ah. Uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> That's fine. If you're not a fan, no. Then, no, that's uh, all right. I uh, won't eat it, well, but you can. There's another place uh, right right on the other side of us. Well, what is that? <laughs> this place? Yep. Uh, that place is a bakery. Okay, I, I say we head to the bakery. It is Holy Rolls Bakery. <laughs> Holy Rolls. Nice. Nice. Uh, as you guys go in, a nice little bell sounds. Uh, and you are in a short line. Uh, the fragrant aroma of the baked goods is astonishing. Roll a con check to see how much you like it. Ooh. Uh, 15. 12. Uh, not bad and pretty good. Uh, so they have an assortment. There's no glass. Uh, the Flying J is better. Covering here. Probably the Flying J is better. Uh, but it is not yet uh, franchised out. Uh, the bakery has fresh piping hot Java. It's brown because they add milk to it. Uh, and they decorate it with a fancy cream in the shape of a book on top. As you guys look around, you notice uh, a lot of people dress like Phineas Ferber here. Uh, they have the monk haircut. They have the librarian robe on. Uh, they are quite polite to the owner, uh, a portly woman with a large mole on her face. Uh, as you guys morning, stand morning, in morning. line. Yeah, uh, you guys uh, hear them. Thank you, Holy. Thank you, Holy. Uh, so you can surmise that this is Holy of Holy's roles. Uh, as she, you guys get up to the top, she kind of eyeballs um, uh, you don't have your name up there. Oh, uh, he, oh, sorry. It is Zadar. Zadar. <laughs> I don't uh, think either one of us do. <laughs> no. Uh, she eyeballs you, Zadar, because clearly, you know, Jessica Rabbit is somewhat what? of an anomaly here. Yeah. Uh, and, but after the initial uh, shock wears off, uh, she is quite polite, asks you what you would like. Uh, kind of, uh, like I said, kind of dumpy, wearing an apron. Uh, she's got flour in her hair. Looks like she might even be the master baker as well. Uh, I ask 
her. I say, might you be holy? <laughs> I, I hear everyone saying that name when we approach the counter. I am Deary. What can I do for you? Uh, well, I was actually, uh, since there was a cheese festival here, uh, is there perhaps a cheese pastry that you There have? is today. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I will take one of those and uh, some of the, the brown java concoction that you have. It looks delicious. Perception checks. Okay. Uh, perception is the Dar's thing. So uh, 26, I rolled an 18. Are you going to yep. roll? He did. I did. You. Oh, me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, wait, I just expounded what oh, um... I did. Yeah, Zadar will hear it. Uh, where's my perception at? Uh, 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 uh. 20. Not natural. Uh, both of you hear the bell <coughs> ring over the door as somebody new enters. Uh, yeah, I, I, I take a turn and glance. Okay. Uh, as you glance over, uh, you see the individual that you saved from the bullies last night, the girl in the cheese head. Uh, oh. But then you hear, ah! uh, clearly holy, doesn't want the line to get too long, and you are dawdling. And I apologize. I asked Camille, Camille, uh, would you like a cheese pastry as well in Java? I would like the Java, but does, do you have any croissants? D12 against me? Seven. Uh, three. Uh, no. Uh, the uh, monks took the last, or the librarians took the last one. Then I will have the cheese pastry as well. Fair enough. Uh, the female who you saved last night uh, tells Holy, I, I would like to pay for their breakfast, please. Uh, yeah, and I, I turned to her and I was just like, You don't really have to well, do that. Well, thank you, but that's, that's you, not you, necessary. Well, you know, I don't know what those uh, rab scallions were going to do, but I'm sure it would have caused me great distress. Please, I, I do not mind. Uh, I, I, I am fine on funds. So. Well, only if you'll join us for breakfast. I, I would be happy to join you. Thank you very much. Uh, make it three, Holy. Uh, Holy calls her. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Hennis. Her name is Hennis. Hennis with an H, correct? Yes. Hennis okay. with an H. She is a slight half elven individual. Hmm. Oh, okay. Uh, Hennis moves a silvery looking piece of coin over and holy points out uh, if there's anything else you want but hennis waves her off uh insight check Ooh, a very insightful today uh only four yeah i got nine uh wow silver goes a long way in this town uh the items are obtained, uh, and Hennis asks if you'd like to sit out by the river. Uh, because there is uh, no indoor seating here. No, I didn't think so. I figured if anything, there would be like patio, like out front or something like that. Nope. Nope. No okay. Patio. Yes. Uh, joining her by the river would be delightful. Uh, you guys go sit down. Uh, people are going to and fro. Uh, standard morning. You guys are obviously rich assholes who don't have any jobs. <laughs> so you just get to watch everybody toil and t uh, turn. Porters go back and forth. Uh, that zap person, the porter, uh, you met is hauling mm -hmm. large luggage. Uh, Hennis, uh, again, is, is very uh, uh, compassionate. Uh, thanking you again profusely for saving her. She's not sure what would have happened, but you know, it, it, it was, it's probably nothing, but she certainly appreciates your assistance. 
Uh, both of you roll perception. Um, 25. 20, not natural. Both of you hear a hot blast of air that you are intimately familiar with. And from the dock area, flying low, is a blue and white hot air balloon. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. uh, the same that was like at the festival at the Ritual Farm Farms? This is actually much larger. Uh, oh. This is this is similar to the size that Aerosmith's craft is. Okay. Uh, Hennis takes no notice of it, uh, but I mean clearly it is right above the rooftops. Uh, so she sees it, she hears it. Uh, it's apparently normal in Nathan. Uh, hmm. She she continues on and she says that she hopes that. Uh, the one rab scallion will not cause you any grief. She goes on to explain that his father is the captain of the city watch and oversees the warforge. Of course. Of course. Yeah. We've you run were, into that type sense, before. You, know? <laughs> yeah. he, you, you were warned that he, you know, his dad would not be happy about that. Uh, as you guys talk, uh, she asks if you are new to the city. Uh, what brings you here? Yada yada yada. Uh, yes, we're we're new to the city. Um, uh, we're here. We're seeking answers to some questions that we have for the library. So oh. we come from a, a city pretty far away from here. Oh well, the library will hold the answer, I'm sure. Uh, I too am from the north. I am from uh, Markland, uh, a small principality in the Elven region. Uh, oh. I am I am here with uh my sister and her husband and their young child uh we came to visit oh well oh. well uh why are yeah, you visiting where... then yeah why am i visiting mm -hmm. this is one of the best cities in the region so uh we are on a five five city uh vacation nice oh okay Yes, I got a little bit carried away at uh, yesterday's festival. I was actually offered to be a uh, cheese maiden. And, uh, you know, being a single woman, I couldn't resist. Uh, I, the temptation was too great for me. The head was quite heavy. Uh, so I certainly <laughs> appreciate the fact that uh, you guys uh, had my back. Oh, uh, but of course. I understand. Know. I would have been cheese maiden if I could. Uh, uh, I'm a little short, uh, though. Ah, that's true. It would have, uh, you could have been a tank. Exactly. <laughs> uh, although this lady isn't that much bigger than you, but she's, she's clearly a half elven. Uh, the pointy ears are a dead giveaway. Uh, you guys chit chat for a while. Do you have any questions for? Uh, I ask her, uh, what's, what number city is this on your five city tour? This is number three. Number three. Okay. Where um, else have you been? uh i knew you'd ask that uh, yeah of course we are uh, we're making small talk <laughs> uh no that's not the right one that is calamity folks too many fucking campaigns that's what the problem is crossover <laughs> crossover that's sunday no we're not in margu for the love of god we're for the Thursday. love of god no <laughs> company and the map is not freaking there. It's all right. Hey. Just forget it. That's asked. okay. No, it, it's it is kind of important. I just forgot to get it prepared, uh, oh. and I'm almost there. So okay. Uh, what I said number three, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, we have been to uh, Telnor in Cessnia. Uh, that is to the north of Marco Markowi. Mar Marco Kia, dumbass. Uh, and while we were there, we also went uh, into the Toman region. Uh, we couldn't quite get to the capital because there is a, an insurrection going on. Uh, this this is the third one. Uh, we plan on going over to uh, Falworth and Lushwall. 
uh, before going up to a city called Cacophony. Oh, that's where we're from. Cacophony. Oh, uh, we have heard great things about it. Oh, it is. Yeah, it is quite the city. <laughs> it is a wonderful little town. Well, after that, we will return to uh, Mar Marco I. Next time, I fucking don't use a random generator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yes, it's you know it's it's five five city. So, uh, but we are having a very good time. And oh, uh, and uh, just as I speak, and she points over, and you see a pair of half elves pushing a baby carriage. Oh, okay. Uh, the, the child, give me an insight check. Uh, cool. Marokia, yeah. that's what it is. Marokia. Five. Five, okay. Mm -hmm. Fifteen. Fifteen. Ah, uh, Camille, that eh, kid's kind of big for uh, the stroller. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I'm not going to be rude, so I'll just say, a cute child. Oh, his name is Lucas. Mm. Oh, Lucas. Oh. oh. Adorable our, name. <laughs> he is our pride and joy, but he tends to get away because he is rambunctious. So we have to keep him in this particular vehicle to keep him at bay. Hence, ah. uh, or risk him getting lost and getting into trouble. Uh, from what I hear, kids will tend to do that. <laughs> do you have him tethered to it? Yes, we do. Uh, there is a, uh, I, I call it a belt for the seat. Very good. Ah, very well. Yeah, very smart. Uh, give me perception checks. Oh, shit. Two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, um, uh, 17. 17 is pretty good. You notice that uh, young Lucas has untethered himself. Uh-oh. <laughs> but he I'll is. He's just sitting there. Okay. All right. Uh, I'll point that out to her. <laughs> uh, the exasperated sister uh, fiddles down the child who, as you look at him, because he's half elf, it's hard to gauge how old he is. Mm -hmm. But you you guess him to be maybe a teenager in human years. Um, and they're carting he, him around in a thing. He, well, he, you know, if he's a troublemaker, uh, right? Kind, he's kind of lanky. Uh, there is a fight. Uh, Should he be Zidar, wearing a helmet? Zadar D twelve against you. Okay. Okay. Another seven. <laughs> oh, I'm Mr. Eight. Average today. Eight. Uh, uh, they almost lose control of him, but they do manage to wrestle him back into the belt for the seat. Uh, nice. And he is a bit cranky. Uh, they point out that they have a few other sites to see. Uh, the lady thanks you again very much for your assistance. And the four of them head on off. Uh, for those of you who are familiar with campaign one, that's Lucas, the wood elf. Yeah. <laughs> Both so. parents are alive. Yeah. For now. <laughs> um, he's an, his backstory was an orphan. So raised by wolves, I believe. Uh, so there you go. Uh, what would you like to do now? What time is it? Uh, it's mid-morning, maybe 10. Uh, so you we can got see time the before our lunch date. Plenty of time. Plenty uh, of time. We'll, we'll do some uh, window shopping. Uh, what do you say to that, Camille? That works. Uh, there. Are, do you want to stay on this side of the river, or do you want to go on the other side of the river? Uh, we'll stay on this side of the river. Uh, try to stay in vicinity so we won't be late for our uh, our lunch uh, date at the Cabbage Patch. Sure. Uh, this area in particular uh is mercantile this one would be a weapons shop uh or a blacksmith uh but there are a variety of uh mundane items here uh i'm not seeing well there's a pawn shop but it is out here on the outskirts how about the church 
Uh, the church, yes. Uh, you may go visit there. Uh, you have passed by it on your way, but now it appears as though there is a service in session. Hmm. Uh, is it obvious who the deity is that they worship? I, I will take a religion check. Okay. Uh, religion. It's going to be bad no matter what. Uh, let's see. Uh, 20, Six. not natural. 16 plus 4. You are familiar with this. This is a standard gnomish deity. Uh, this is the deity of intelligence. However, the name is uh, has a lot of vowels in it. Mm. So you aren't quite sure that you can speak it appropriately. Yeah, I'm not going to attempt it. <laughs> so can we sit in the back and observe without uh, interrupting anyone? Most assuredly you can. You enter uh, and there is singing off key singing but wow. i mean you know everybody there seems to be chanting their little hearts out uh it is a rather wealthy uh church all of the uh pillars that hold up the massive ceiling this is almost 20 feet up in the air it's it's very gothic cathedralish uh every pillar has writing on it. Uh, it has stained glass windows that are illuminated from the Eastern sun, uh, and it casts words of the religion down on the flagstone floor. Well, that's pretty uh, cool. Yeah, otherwise it's kind of reversed. So uh, the sunlight illuminates it, and the holy figure, which is a female, wearing a large, unusual headdress, it's like a miter, only way taller, um, with a ribbon hanging out of it because it's like a bookmark. Uh, she is conducting the ceremony, uh, raises her hands, and the chanting stops. Everybody goes silent, and they all stand up from their stools that they have. Oh. Do you wish? Do you wish to stand up? Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> you guys stand up. The priestess. Everybody sits back down. Oh, we're Catholic. Yes, she begins to speak, raises her hands. Everybody stands. <laughs> uh, and you, you kind of get the impression that she's just fucking with them now. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> give me a perception check. Okay. Uh, Six. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> 17 plus 8. <laughs> Camille, you are keeping an eye on her and think mm, she might be a witch because uh, she's just being all witchy about this. Uh, Zadar, you notice two figures off in the shadows. Oh, no. Okay. And you recognize them. Oh, They're monks. no. They are the monks. Mm -hmm. Scan on the crowd, keeping an eye out. When they notice you're staring at them, uh, I, I uh, bow my head to them. Do I recognize one in particular? Is it one that we've interacted with before? It is. Uh, it's the one that pointed out that they are not looking for you. They are looking for your friend Rosa. Okay. Do they know uh, what we have done? Has that word gotten back to them? Probably which, not. Which part? About killing their colleagues? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yes, remember you were treated with great respect at being able to defeat the assassin arm. The mistress uh, of pain. Yeah. yeah, remember there are three sects in that uh, monkdom. Uh, you were dealing with the assassins and you actually impressed them uh, being able to defeat it. Uh, they are like hired gunmen. So they are okay. well aware that, you know, well, Somebody better than me might kill me. They're well, they are well trained. They uh -huh. are very martial. Uh, but these guys do not bear any ill will. There's no vendetta out. Uh, otherwise, oh, they would have whacked you in your uh, hotel. Oh, yeah. Uh, that's what I was worried about. <laughs> the ceremony continues uh, for almost 30 minutes. Give me constitution oh, checks, God, both of Catholic. you. 
see if our knees go numb or anything like that. It's high mass. You're getting your uh, workout. Uh, uh, 20, not natural. 18 plus 2. Uh, 15. <laughs> yeah, it's bullshit, man. You're getting tired of the constant up and down. Uh, after a half hour, she'll now do this. And it, it's like football practice. You guys are... <laughs> <laughs> and everybody is constantly moving after about the first 15 minutes the monks leave they don't see rosa in here mm -hmm. fuck off you know they leave you guys are still in there after 30 minutes uh yeah. she starts talking in tongues or something oh, this might be a snake cult uh you guys can stay as long as you want it is rather interesting uh and both of you d12 against me Ooh, 12. Oh. oh d12 sorry uh, nine. Oh, seven. <laughs> yeah neither one of you guys pick up any useful information because between the constant up down left right and the monks you are really not focused in on this so you you, you don't get dialed in enough to learn mm -hmm. anything about it but you know it is what it is did we hear any bells like signifying time or anything like that, like from outside or anything? Nope. Do I remember what was the last turn of the bell was? For Ten. Time? Ten? Okay. Yeah. Well, so we've been in here for what, about an hour? You're coming up on, uh, you've been in a half hour. Half hour? I say we exit. Sure, we'll, we'll, we'll make our a, break for it. I'll leave a donation. <laughs> okay, yeah. fair enough. Yeah. Uh, as you guys walk out, nobody tries to stop you. Uh, there are no moonies here asking you if you want a flower. You just simply go outside. Uh, while you were inside, eh, sunshiny day. Everything is nice. People are still moving freely. This is a capital city. A lot of gnomes, a uh, lot of other foreigners uh, in here. I mean, you've seen the half elves. Uh, you've seen a few dwarfs, uh, caught a few humans, uh, and you guys are outside of the church. So where would you like to go now? The church, ladies and gentlemen, is in blue. So right here now, in the center. didn't you say the Aarakocra also used to live here too? Uh, Aarakocra have resided in this location. Uh, you know that there is some animosity between the two cultures. Perception check both of them. Oh shit, wrong thing. Uh, uh, six. Yeah. Uh, just 16 plus 8. <laughs> so, yeah. Odd even. Odd even. Odd and even. Uh, speaking of the Aarakocra, Camille, you see a group of eight. Uh, they look like blue jays. Uh, kind of puzzling. They are walking from the area where your hotel would be, uh, and the gnomes are giving them a wide berth. These jays uh, look quite fierce. Uh, and as you look, uh, because you are short and they are tall, you see uh, not eight pairs of legs but ten pairs of legs oh. zadar you notice two flying craft going overhead towards dirigible farms huh uh is there any kind of uh markings or nomenclature on it or anything like that no these are these are one one kind of resembles uh your friend uh, the other one, a uh, different vent. It, it's almost like an outhouse being towed by a balloon. It's, it's very strange. So far you've seen three different vehicles. Uh, they all fly, but they're all formed differently. It's almost as though somebody was experimenting in aeronautics. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, I, I tell Camille that is like piqued by interest. That is the third vessel we've seen come by. So, hmm. but, but um, I don't know. 
Uh, they're headed in towards the Richable Farms. Yep. Well, let's go follow them. Oh, so you, okay. You know, if we have time, sure. Sure. Yeah. Well, there's there's nothing going on here. Uh, Camille, D twelve against me. I am by the Blue Jays. One. Four. Odd even. Even. Uh, you head down the road towards Dirigible Farms. You guys traveled this particular pathway last night. Uh, it's a little dirty, but you notice that the street department officials are cleaning up the mess. Every once in a while, a, a tattered piece of cheesecloth will fly through the air. Uh, and as you cut in between the buildings here, uh, you can see the stadium, aka Dirigible Farms, uh, has four uh flying vehicles uh the last one the one that you guys had not seen before looks like a ship a sailing ship uh suspended by a triad of i don't know hide balloons almost uh each one is docked uh atop the stadium uh because there are mooring uh bull rings up there uh -huh. Uh, and you notice that the gnomes have cleared all of the paraphernalia out from the Asiago celebration uh, and have returned it to an airport is what it is. Hmm. Okay. Uh, as you stand there, you notice uh, gnomes with ropes, tie downs, and bags of sand attending to this last vehicle that has arrived. Uh, at the bottom, near the entrance, you see a very old, sturdy-looking gentleman, flowing white beard, uh, and a colorful hat with a propeller on it. It's a beanie, a propeller beanie, <laughs> uh, and he is yelling instructions. Oh, okay. Huh. That must be their dock master or something. Uh, as you get up there, you can see the uh, Department of Municipal Celebrations is removing the booths and the tables and the chairs and whatnot. Uh, there's no band today. The band is all gone. Uh, the hint of cheese still hangs heavy in the air. Uh, <laughs> but the municipal workers are removing the thing. Uh, one of them, uh, an alderman type or some kind of you know politician type, uh, begins to approach the guy in the propeller beanie. What does he say? Well, do you want to approach? Yeah. Um, sure, we'll, sneak we'll up. approach. Sneak up? Give me stealth check. <laughs> well, I'm being, yeah, surreptitious. Uh, oh, that might not be too bad. Uh, 19. Uh 13 plus 10, so yeah, <laughs> 23. So you guys move up. The two gentlemen are, are deep in conversation. They are both gnomes. Uh, the one, the politician type, hands over a bag that jingles to the older man. Uh, and you can tell that he's thanking Zeppelin uh, for the use of his facility. The city appreciates it. The festival was a success. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, kiss an ass. If there was a baby around, this guy would be smooching it. Uh, Zeppelin appears nonplussed, and every once in a while, just, no, make sure, make sure, uh, continuing to shout instructions to his associates. Uh, perception check again. At 20. Uh, 10. Uh, Zadar, because you're taller, you notice that there is a <clears throat> balloon or bladder uh, rising out of the stadium. Apparently, somebody's pumping up the jam. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, so you can go in and see what that's all about, or you sure. guys can wait and talk to Zeppelin and uh, Politico. Up to you. Um. Yeah, I turned to Camille. It's just like, well, do we want to investigate this further? Or... Sure. Okay. Wh which um, one? The 
are we going to the two gentlemen or are we going to try to check out the check balloon out that's the balloon? left? Yeah, let's check out the balloon. Oh, okay. You guys leave Zeppelin and the politician alone. You guys go in. <clears throat> Same entrance that you used to get into the Asiago celebration is open. <clears throat> there is a gate, but it, <clears throat> it's business. Uh, business is open. As you go into the middle of the stadium, uh, you notice, indeed, Zadar was correct. There seems to be a giant bladder being filled with hot air being piped in from three bonfires. They seem to be using some kind of wooden tubing uh, that is connected with pitch, bamboo, uh, to suck off the heat uh, from the fires and pump it into this bladder. Uh, the bladder itself kind of looks scaly, for lack of a better term. Huh. And, the, and the color is an iridescent green. Iridescent green and scaly. OK. Uh, is there a crowd uh, to, to scan, or just workers working? or? Uh, it's mostly workers. There are a few onlookers. Uh, give me insight checks, both of you. Is it say passengers? Ooh. <laughs> uh, yeah, you have no idea. You're amazed at the air well, doesn't green. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> Camille, you don't think they're passengers. You think they're more engineers, maybe? Not sure. Uh, because they have a variety of devices. Uh, they are moving back and forth as the bladder fills up. So are the Blue Jays uh, around? No, the Blue Jays were headed towards the library. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Blue Jays can fly. They don't need to go to the wow. velodrome. Uh, mm -hmm. So, yeah, as you're noticing this, uh, the crew is making sure that the pitch is holding the uh, pipe together. Uh, and it, it looks... It looks like there's a work in progress here because you guys both notice that there's no gondola uh, on this balloon yet. Okay. Uh, you get the, I will say, opinion that uh, they are testing this bladder for some reason uh, oh. because there, there is no gondola. There is no transport device below it. So this thing, whatever it is, it's not airworthy at this time okay. a moment later a loud hiss is given off and a cloud of green vapor is expelled from this bladder oh. everybody starts to scream as the green mist falls rapidly uh give me a d8 zadar oh, okay Uh, okay. Uh, six. Six employees stumble over themselves but cannot escape this mist. Uh, it falls rapidly. You each need to give me a dexterity check. Yes. Uh, you want me to roll for you? Camille rolls a two. No, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, 13 uh, plus 4, so 17 for Sadar. Sadar knocks Camille over as he tries to escape. I grab her. <laughs> I'm big enough to grab her. So You will, you will have to re-roll. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll take, a, take a roll. Uh, Dex again? I call him an asshole. Uh, strength for Zadar, dexterity for Camille. Okay. Oh, uh, eight, 18. Three. Uh, Camille, you grab her by the ankle and start to drag her, but some of the mist, uh, she inhales some of the green mist. Oh, uh, shit. Three of the six dock workers are choking, coughing, vomiting, and spitting up. Uh, Camille, you 
take eight hit points of chlorine damage. Oh. Uh, two of the dock workers perish. Oh. Well, this is horrific. Yeah, yeah. Almost as bad as chopping that guy's head off. Uh, two, uh, a, a man wearing an unusual hat yells, Oh, the nomanity! <laughs> oh, you were just setting us up for that, you <laughs> bastard. Oh, the nomanity. Nice. Uh, nice. Okay. I just came up with that off the top of my head. There you go. Hours, three hours ago. <laughs> uh, the entrance is stormed. Uh, the white-haired man, who, despite his age and size, moves rapidly, uh, begins to shout, and goes in willy-nilly to the green cloud. Oh, my. Oh. Uh, with a 19, grabs uh, a couple of people and starts dragging them out. Uh, Adi goes back in, even he says, fuck it. He's going back in. Okay. Is this guy wearing any kind of covering or anything like that? Or Nope. Uh, he just goes in uh, with another 19 uh, wow. and drags the rest out. He's a badass. He is a badass. Uh, he rips off his shirt, showing that he is heavily muscled. Uh, a little bit pulled yeah. around the middle, but he's got huge pecs, probably size C cup. Uh, <laughs> and he, he is riddled with uh intricate tattooing nice wow but it, it's about here down uh and it's a lot of avian life uh clearly this guy likes flight um uh, human or nope he's no no shit yeah oh wow uh clerics arrive uh medical personnel ew, ew. Uh, arrive. Beetle, uh, beetle. <laughs> that's right. It is, it's the uh, minions. minions. Uh -huh. uh, the minions file in and aid is rendered. Uh, this individual comes over to you guys and asks Camille if you are okay. Oh. As his rippling biceps. Are you okay from landing there? <laughs> <laughs> Do you need to go this way? <laughs> <laughs> I'll reach up and caress his bias up and say, yes, I'm fine. Thank you. Uh, it's very taunt. Uh, and you notice that he has a pierced nipple. Ooh. It's got a small green stud in it, like a oh. jade stud. And my hand leans over and I pull it. <laughs> Is this guy from Seattle or something? It's like, come on, like uh, in the 90s. <laughs> you, kind of, you kind of notice a faint glow on that green stone, though. Sorry, I didn't mean to tug on that. <laughs> Thought I. Uh, again, he confirms that you're okay. Does he need to call any medical personnel over? Uh, no, no. Go hor deal with people that are more more injured than I am. Very, very good. Thank you very much. Uh, he goes over to ascertain how his dock workers are. Uh, the reporter uh, has has left to go report the incident to the town crier. Uh, oh, the nomanity. <laughs> <laughs> I love that line. Wow. Uh, <laughs> so were they testing like a dragon skin bladder or something it, like that? Green dragon skin? It would seem so. Oh. Weird, that, well, weird that he has that green gem too. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. Probably almost like, eh doesn't affect him at all uh he is now after checking on everybody kind of upset and is yelling for a couple of merchants uh as two people wander over one is a human one is a half orc they are not merchants they are adventurers uh and they start to receive an earful uh about not properly cleaning the hide uh a vehement argument ensues uh odd human even half work and he punches the human right in the face how does he do that does he jump up and like 
crack him <laughs> he, he's he just leaps up and gives that viking punch a uh, leaping mound yeah there we it, go. it's not a huge human you know it's like 510 so right. he gets right up there and drills him the half orb kind of hands off uh he returns a bag of jingling coins and they are ordered to remove that infernal uh skin away wow okay now this uh ripped gnome that's the one with the beanie is mm -hmm. that zeppelin that is zeppelin interesting oh, okay hmm. mm -hmm. i turn i turned to camille i said are all gnomes this beefy i was gonna say who would have thought he was so buff <laughs> Yeah, I, I was about to say. He's seen shit, man. <laughs> he's he's seen shit. That's right. Got some moistened panties going on in the <laughs> halfling kingdom. Uh, <laughs> not quite that bad. I still have chlorine damage. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, maybe we should get you uh, some healing. It's just like, yeah, neither of us are healers. <laughs> it's a chemical peel. <laughs> uh zeppelin returns over after punching out the human being uh and again apologizes profusely uh he, he's very very uh secure he's extremely concerned there's no sarcasm there is no uh faux caring he, he is deeply concerned probably because his barrister has warned him that the lawsuit's probably coming <laughs> oh like gosh that. Uh, and, and he again repeats his offer. If you need healing, he will most happily go ahead and get it provided for you. Oh, He's oh, very see, far. we're adventurers. We're used to this shit. Oh, well, I, you know what? I'll tell you what. I, I appreciate your candor. I appreciate uh, how nice you've been. Uh, if you need a ride somewhere, not, not real far away, but if you need a ride somewhere, please call upon me and I will figure it out oh that's very sweet of you i you know i i feel horrible that you were uh assaulted uh by equipment that was not properly prepared uh and i zeppelin smith yeah i zeppelin smith uh promised to make it right oh, well appreciate we that. greatly appreciate that also <clears throat> we wandered over here because we have a fascination with the aircraft because we too are travelers by aircraft we have a friend by the name of arrow aerosmith ah, my nephew yeah seriously really <laughs> yes he lives in cacophony though How did that's you get where here? we're from <laughs> oh wow. wow that is interesting i have not seen him in quite a while yeah, well he hooked up with a witch <laughs> He seems happy, though. All right. Uh, yeah, <laughs> the last time. I had sent him plans uh, for a prototype. I It, it, it works. This, oh. I think it works. <laughs> very well. Very good. One moment. He yells for somebody, and this toady kind of individual comes running over. And he goes, plan on the, uh, the Rainbow Project. Uh, yes, sir. He uh, runs off, and he goes, so it was... It was successful. It was able to cross the sea. Oh, yes. it was. We uh, took it everywhere. Yeah. And uh, he was quite the pilot. He he attempted to correct us on a wrong. Unfortunately, we went out as far as the judgment of deciding our course. But I mean, we've seen it uh, handle wind, rain, and also ice very well. Ice? I, yeah. Where did you find ice? Freckland? No. Yes. No. Yes. No, it, it it is not designed for the cold uh land of Freckland. I it, it, with, it with respect, little... I think you're full of crap. Oh uh, no. Dude, I... We had ice giants <laughs> throwing shit at us. Yeah. It took a couple of hits from, from ice giants. Huh. I mean, I'm not saying it was great, but it worked. Yeah, I mean it worked. We're not saying that it was flawless, but you know, uh, it did lose altitude a couple times due to the weather. So the ice. Yeah, sometimes so. we were kind of like skimming the surface there. Uh, cold weather does not do well for the inflated bladders. Yes. Uh, no, where we where is to... my nephew now? Did he go back? What did he do? Uh, I'm not quite sure where he's headed. <laughs> he had the no. witch with him and then... Yeah. Uh... An actual witch? uh actual yes. witch-like person 
<laughs> well, way to be PC about it. <laughs> You're talking to a guy with a propeller beanie on. Yeah. Uh, I forget uh, where did they go. You did not know where they went. No, okay. no. We tell him he actually tethered to a ship and dropped us off after uh, my companion here fell overboard. <laughs> uh, if I may ask a favor, uh, of could course. you possibly uh, recant uh, your tale to my scribe and uh, provide relevant information so that i may go ahead and study this anomaly i was unaware that uh, any of our craft would be able to cross uh, large bodies of water let alone the frozen land of freckland where did he get the witch freckland <laughs> oh so yeah, she's was... a barbarian witch yeah, exactly it was yes. a long trip it was a long journey <laughs> well but did... where did you how did you get to freckland but you know what? I'll tell you what. Uh, I will offer. Turn. <laughs> uh, I, I will offer you uh, three hundred gold each if you will sit down with my scribe and explain to him where you went and any anomalies that you are aware of or any information that you can help. I don't need any money for that. I well, I how about his bicep? <laughs> how about in lieu of money, you just join us for dinner? Or, or something like that. Your scribe can come along, and we can all recant oh, this tale together. What a good idea! I, I, I would be honored uh, to share a meal with you. That that would be uh, most excellent, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no problem, bro. <laughs> it's quite righteous of you. Uh, when would you like to have dinner? Uh, let's see. Well, we have a lunch engagement, so I mean. Anytime after that, we're, we're available. So this evening? Uh, yes. Of course. Of course. D12. All right. Both of us? 11. Oh, two. <laughs> uh, I cannot do tonight. I can do tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's, tomorrow's fine. Uh, we have some business with the library, but uh, our possible business. But yeah, we should be available. Day three dinner with Zeppelin. Uh, well, did you want to talk to the scribe today or wait till dinner? Uh, let's. We'll wait. We'll, well wait till let's dinner. talk to the scribe and see if he needs anything special. Before yeah, we'll dinner. give him some preliminaries and then. Uh, perception, both of you. Okay. Uh, we'll we'll save the the Six. good stories for dinner. Eighteen. TikTok. Ah, TikTok. We notice the bells going off, and Sadar's like, "We gotta go." <laughs> yeah, you are hell and gone. Uh, so, because you guys are here, and mm -hmm. you need to be there. Yes, I guess we better motivate. Oh yeah, uh, we'll you go. guys are going to be a smidge late. Uh, Zeppelin looks forward to talking to you. Once again, offers you the opportunity to go ahead and get healed by his clerical staff. I'm good. Okay. Uh, you guys <clears throat> head off, sprinting, walking fast. What are you doing? Uh, yeah, we're sprinting. Be sprinting. <laughs> okay. Uh, as you sprint through, get back on the main trail, uh, four Warforged are coming at a very fast clip. Uh, if you don't get out of the way, they will run you over. Uh, yeah, I'll get yeah. Out of the way. <laughs> we'll get out of the way. <laughs> Dexterity at advantage. Okay. Advantage. Oh. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. 10. Uh, 18. Uh, Camille gets the fuck out of the way. You only take three hit points of damage out of a possible 12 uh, as you're elbowed out of the way. Dude, look out. <laughs> and they are beelining uh, towards Zeppelin Farms. Oh, wow. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Uh, or, I'm sorry, Dirigible Farms. Uh, they're the cops, man. They got to go investigate. Uh, who wants to D12 against me to see if you're late? Uh, um, David, you can do that. Okay. Uh, nine. nine. Reroll. Eleven. 
Seven. You're late. Oh, we apologize. Uh, fortunately, uh, where is it? Phineas Ferb uh, has obtained a table out on the patio where you guys were sitting last night, and he seems to be regaling the waitress on the pros and cons of mead versus wine. Uh, again, this individual... We didn't was, miss much. <laughs> uh, he reminds you greatly of Mortimer J. Sneed in both facial and personal tics. Uh, when he sees you, he hails you and explains, uh, well, these are my friends. And the waitress rolls her eyes and steps away. <laughs> uh, <laughs> grateful God. for the fact that you have... We, should, we arrived. Yeah. <laughs> uh, my apologies. I was a little bit early. I, I hope that was okay. I'm anxiously looking forward to talking to you. Um, our apologies. We're actually a little late. Uh, there was an incident at Dir uh, Dirigible Farms. I heard the explosion. I wasn't sure if there was a problem or not. It seems yeah, like it was a were, chlorine issue. They were testing a bladder. Are and, they cleaning uh, a pool? Well... <laughs> The hide that they used for the bladder had not been properly cleaned. Perception checks, both of you. Okay. 18. Uh, yeah, 18. Another fucking aircraft is coming in. Give me investigation checks. Ooh, okay. That's uh, not going to be good. Okay, uh, 26, 19 plus 7. <clears throat> what the hell? 10. Okay, uh, once again, Camille does not notice. Zidar, there are friends here at the crossroads of the city. The monks are present. Again, mm. still okay. scanning the crowd, still apparently looking for Rosa. Uh, okay. You aren't sure what is going on. And it's kind of puzzling. Uh, but, you know, at least they aren't here for you. Thank God. Uh, right. uh, Phineas right. has taken the opportunity to order drinks for you guys. He hopes he has guessed correctly. Uh, whatever you wanted, he will have guessed correctly. Uh, okay. He will then go ahead and explain that he noticed uh certain stains to your either clothing or your teeth go ahead and giving him the notation of what your particular fancy okay, was sherlock. he is sherlock gnome uh <laughs> so nice uh that one totally ripped off from the big screen uh but yes he is quite clever quite observant uh he says uh, i i would not deign to go ahead and order food for you uh even though i'm sure it would include cheese because of yesterday's incident uh the waitress will go ahead and take your order remember you guys are buying it's on your tab uh mm -hmm. while you guys wait for the food phineas asks uh so what is it you have need of my services i asked him uh would he happen to know anything or anyone that can tell us about possible remedies for time dementia if it can be time dementia treated. yes for someone who travels time incessantly time travels incessantly is such a thing possible yes and he's fucked himself yeah. up yeah is it theoretical or is it uh real it's real, real. Uh, hmm. unfortunately we've fallen into a little time conundrum at one time with this individual so you, twice actually you, you've gone back in time twice yes yes did you ever think about going forward in time we have never intentionally <laughs> yeah we never intended to travel through we're time. not going back to the future what exactly was your intent? Well, we got tricked into it the first time. Yes. Uh, the second, what we were solving a problem. Yes. We had to go back in time uh, to prevent. Uh, we prevented an invasion. 
Yes. That's you learned about the golden canard. Yes. 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 The canard. Fascinating. And he whips out a quill and some parchment and begins to start to take down notes. When exactly, what year, where were you? How did you, I have a lot of questions. Okay, we tell him, well, the time that we left from is the present, of course, you know, a few months back. You aren't from uh, the future? No, we are not from the future. <laughs> So, from the past. No, we regale him with all of our tales and tell mm -hmm. him what we did. And we we tell him a little bit about Mortimer J. Sneed. Never heard of him. Never heard of him. Okay. He sounds like an interesting fellow. Perhaps if I could talk to him. I imagine the two of you would expound with knowledge just... Where exactly is this Sneed individual at? The Grand Academy. And how, I'm sorry, I was uh, distraught over the details you were forthcoming with. How exactly did you travel in time? Uh, through the, the use, yes, the stuff. use of a <laughs> magical time device. <laughs> Uh, your food is getting cold as he continues to pepper you with questions. He's asking for the composition of the amulet, its appearance, and perhaps a general diagram. Yeah, Zadar draws that out for him. I don't want to whip out the medallion to, in present company uh, mm -hmm. in this vicinity. But may I take this uh, drawing? Uh, it may assist me with some answers. Uh, but of course, of course. Okay. Uh, the bell. I, I do tell him though the one time that we did travel involved a, a tripod and some copper wiring. Mm -hmm. He scrolls that on the bottom. Uh, so the tripod held said amulet. I believe so. Huh. And then we all uh, held the wire, right? Yes. Uh, he scrolls down the notations as the bell rings, uh, snapping him out of his stupor. Uh, oh my, I must return to the uh, library. I am late yet again. Uh, okay. You guys all look down and notice that none of you have touched your food. Damn it. Uh, I tell he, her that's all right. I can heat it up. <laughs> he, he asks uh, if you were still willing to cover the cost. Uh, yes, yeah. of course, by okay. all means. Uh, I ask uh, if it would be possible to meet with the, with him or some some people that might know about this again. Uh, D12. Okay. Five. Uh, <laughs> four. Uh, I am not available the rest of the day, however, perhaps tomorrow. In the uh, morning? Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Or uh, I, I work tomorrow, so it would be the late afternoon. Perhaps we could eat dinner together. Uh, unfortunately, we have a dinner engagement um, with D, uh, D, D12. Okay. Four. Uh, nine. Uh, the day after? Uh, of course. Of course. We're, we're on no, no time schedule here. Dinner with Phineas. Uh, he gathers up his food, begins to eat, uh, has the stack of parchment, runs headlong for the library. Uh, as you watch him go, you can tell that fucker's going to be last. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He's probably going to get his ass chewed. I will take a D4 from Zadar. Okay. Four. <laughs> it will take four weeks for him to find any relevant information. Wow. wow. Okay. Uh, it's the largest library on the continent. Is he not yeah. familiar with it? What the hell? There are a lot of tomes. Uh, well, we can be assured that he will do some thorough research. <laughs> not all of it is written in Andorra. Right, right. 
Well, we're in the place that has, that probably has the answers that we seek. So most likely we might as well just make ourselves comfortable here. Sure. Uh, it is lunch. Uh, you can heat up your meal. I do. Uh, I press to digitate the meals. <laughs> the, the, the lunch crowd has dispersed. The uh, waiters and waitresses are going ahead and cleaning up after it. Small birds have arrived uh, to pick out any morsels. Uh, they're very appreciative of Camille. Uh, and give me another perception check. 20. Uh, uh, perception, yeah, 26. Did you guys watch the normal rabble go to and fro doing menial jobs because their lives are nowhere near as exciting as you heroic adventurers? Right. You both notice that the Blue Jays have left the great library and are headed back this way. Oh. Uh, I flagged them down. Uh, the retinue stops and they form a line. Uh, clearly, the short J is behind the front line, the one that was in the middle. So they are they are in a secret service mode. So is that uh, like a baby J? <clears throat> not quite a baby. Uh, it is a young J, though. It's okay. These are buff Jays, okay? These guys are like Jersey Shore buff Jays. Do they uh, fly? Or are they flying Jays? <laughs> at uh, Eric Hopper, uh -huh. you do of have course. flight, but that's one for David. Uh, they wish to know, uh, the leader uh, wishes to know what you want. I've heard about Eric Hopper, and I wish to... <clears throat> trade knowledge with you to die or to enter into a conversation we are very busy right now it will have to wait okay i have time <laughs> 19 you hear a twang uh oh and a scream as the younger Jay falls to the ground, <gasps> pierced with an arrow. Oh no. The Jays immediately surround the creature, lift them up, and carry it off to the library. Oh. Uh, blood dribbling as it goes. Uh, Zadar scans the crowd. Investigation. Uh, 16 plus 8. Uh, Do I spot the assailant? <laughs> oh, I've got a good roll. Investigation. Where are you? Well, I got a natural 20. Oh, yeah. You both notice right here behind you, uh, mm -hmm. an open window on the second floor. The curtain is fluttering out. Uh, uh, there are no J's. You can hear whistles uh, and people are scattering. I point to Camille. I said, that is probably our sniper's perch. Ha <laughs> ha. <laughs> yes. Sometimes the window guy is on the roof. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Uh, it is a pink building indicating adult activities and or gambling. Of course. Of course. Of course. But, I mean, as you can tell, that is a perfect perch to pick off Kennedy, which yes. is the name of the J. <laughs> did, did, did the arrow travel so to the, the left dead? and back? Went to the left, threw, back around, and hit. Uh, I'm sorry, what was the other question? Did the J die? You do not know if the J has died or not. The Aarakocra have whisked it away. Oh, no. Uh, Can we... All you know is there's a curtain on the second floor 
of uh what shall we call this uh the peekaboo wow peekaboo lounge huh? that's right uh peek-a-boo i turned lounge. to camille and i say you know this isn't going to end well for us no right? it's not yeah <laughs> <Dad>, distraction <laughs> god damn it okay what do you want to do well i guess we have to go after it yeah, we can investigate and we will make ourselves available for, because you know the Jays are going to come for us. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's okay. You can be in jail up to a month before uh, Phineas finds the answer. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. So what do you want to do? Uh, people are scattering. Uh, there are There is some finger pointing at you. Uh-huh. Uh, there is some finger pointing across... Uh, in the little grassy knoll across the river right, uh, right. and you can hear clanking yeah so y- you know shit's about to get real yeah clanking what do you want to do from where warforge warforge are coming oh, God. okay maybe we need to hide should we take the hide action <laughs> you know Not that puts sure. us you know that that colors us as fugitives, right? I know. <laughs> well, do we want to try to go up to investigate? <laughs> uh, what? Uh, he loves it when a plan fun. comes together. That's <laughs> right. What are you going to do? I've given you guys options. Shit. I'm just curious as to what you're going to do. If we go up it. and investigate and we get caught, that's going to be bad. If we don't investigate yeah. and we stand down here, it's going to be bad. Right. Right. I mean, we can either surrender ourselves to the authorities. I can do fog cloud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because finding the Jessica Rabbit person is going to be real difficult. You know, I can well, change can in change. a th- change in a thought. You, know. you can. She can't. <laughs> right. I can dye my right. hair. And you've been to the uh, Cabbage Patch twice. <laughs> I don't know, David. I'll let you decide. Uh, hide, flee, investigate, or turn yourself in. Uh, Those are pretty much your four choices. What are you leaning towards, Caviello? You're leaning towards fleeing, right? Well, I don't know. If we flee, we could live. I mean, we've gotten in trouble before, so you know, you know, Famunder is not here to help us. Now, at this point in time, you do not realize it's going to take four weeks. Yeah. yeah. So that is that is player knowledge, not character knowledge. Right, right. Okay. Uh, look, we're in a foreign land. TikTok. Uh, yeah. Uh, Convince me. Okay. Let's see. What would I have to roll for uh, persuasion? To do what? No, I'm just I don't saying, know. She, she said I'm just convince saying, her. Tell me what you want to do. I think we need to meet this head on. So we'll just stay here and see what the Warforge do. If they take us into custody, then we'll deal with it. All then. right. All right. That's what we'll do. Okay. Uh, you await. Uh, clank, clank, clank. Colonel Clank arrives. Uh, <laughs> citizen, explain. Uh, yes. <laughs> Shall Camille do it or Zadar? <laughs> we were standing here talking to the Aarakocra. All of a sudden, there was an arrow that came out, shot one of their companions, and they ran away. Citizen, expound. Uh, we think the arrow came from up there. We point to the open window with the curtain flat. Uh, perception check. Okay. Uh, again, 16 13. plus 8. So. Uh, you notice a figure flying from the library towards you. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> it lands moments later. The beefy blue jay is the one that had engaged you in speaking. Right. It is chittering incessantly oh, uh, in its native tongue and is quite, quite 
upset. Oh my god, he's gonna uh, fuck us over. Uh, uh, the so Lord Orc cast did, uh, comprehend languages. So. Sure. Before you do that, the Warforge begins to chitter in it, it as well. After casting comprehend languages, you can tell that the Blue Jay is fingering you guys for this problem and considers you the diversion. I knew that was coming. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I tell Camille. <laughs> so you, at this point in time, the Warforged have you surrounded. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's fine. I guess, uh, as much. D12 against me, Camille. Nine. Mm, where'd my 12 go? Oh, there it is. Uh, well... Four. And Zanard. Okay. Um, Eight. Um, yeah. All right. I got to find the D12. <laughs> Let's hope the shiny one works. 11. Very nice. Uh, Camille, the waitress uh, that you uh, had is being addressed by one of the Warforged. And she points out that you and one of the librarians were speaking in hushed tones and he was scribbling down information. She does not know what that information was. Zadar, a gnome, male, points out that he's fairly confident that the shot came from the grassy knoll. <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh... <clears throat> the Warforge is uh, the leader, Colonel We make Plank. ourselves available for any questions. <laughs> You will follow us to the gulag. Of course. Great. Is that goulash? Will there be pasta and hamburger there? <laughs> Warforged do not have a sense of humor. They were not issued one. Uh, the chittering uh, in the native language, Zadar, you know the Aarakocra is pissed. And at least one of the Warforged is telling him to calm down or he will join everybody in the gulag. Uh, you hear him say, that would be fine. Put me in the same cell with them. Great. <laughs> uh, this guy is pissed. Uh, so much so that the Warforged has had enough. He too is being brought in for questioning. Uh, you guys are marched off too. Uh, bah, 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 bah. Didn't Where take is... long for us to end up in the hoose cow. <laughs> uh, the gulag is check mark right there. Okay. Uh, you guys are marched uh, over the little bridge, through the grassy knoll, and up. By this time, a lot of the librarians have heard uh, something's happened. Several of them are out on the grassy knoll because it is it is a steep hill. What are investigating? Them, uh, they are curious. Uh, they also heard that oh the nomanity. Oh wow! Uh, right. The no the nomanity guy is also there, uh, along with Phineas. Oh, Phineas, you asshole! <laughs> Phineas is seems rather puzzled yeah uh you guys are marched away into the legal building back mm -hmm. at the hall of justice uh and you are incarcerated in adjoining cells uh, With, uh mr j yes mr j is in the cell next to you and he is staring at you through the bars yeah just cutting you in half and uh your spell lasts for an hour? Yeah. Yeah. Does he speak uh, common? Oh, common I'll, I'll ask him. I'll ask him in common. Does he speak common? You just talked to me at less than 15 minutes ago. Of course I speak common. Do you of speak course. do you speak undead? Because that's what you're about to become. Well, well, no. If, uh, no offense, I wasn't sure if it was you or no one offense. Your you shot Prince Kennedy. I, I no, we did not. You but assisted 
in the assassination attempt of Prince Kennedy? No, we did not. Why did you stop us? My friend has uh, a very, very high sense of curiosity. We had just met with our first Eric Hakura at the Grand Academy, and she was intrigued by your retinue. That is poo-poo. Well, unfortunately, sometimes the truth is stranger than fiction. I don't believe you. Well, I want to know why you stopped us. Again, my my friends just um, exuberate if, if sense Prince of curiosity. If Prince Kennedy dies, I will make it my mission to kill you. We didn't resist. We stayed here and waited for you guys. So. We had options. We could have fled. We could have went on to investigate. I do tell him there was an open window that we surmised was probably the sniper's window. Who was your friend in the window? That was not our friend. We have no idea who that was. Really? So you yes. just, out of curiosity, stopped Prince Kennedy's retinue to ask a question, and Prince Kennedy ends up with an arrow in his breast, just you, because you're curious. Unfortunately, circumstances worked out that way. Uh, whoever this was, this assailant, was probably has stalked you. I guys have something since, to say about that. Since, hold on, <laughs> this assassin has probably uh, uh, got stalked you since you arrived here. Really. As, I mean, it just seems logical. They yes. knew your comings and goings. Yes, who would have ever guessed we would have been walking along the main street? You've traveled this way before, haven't you? Have you? Do I get to talk now? The Cabbage Patch is a very, uh, very popular restaurant. That's why we were there. We were meeting with a friend. We were there yesterday. We had the Blue Java. What say you, curious one? So, you say, oh, you just stopped us, and then he dies. Well, how about this? What made you stop? What made you not run over us? What made you say, oh, let's talk to these people? Maybe you had something in for your Kennedy. I will enjoy torturing Maybe you. Maybe it was an inside job. Uh, two Warforged come in and open up his cell door. Uh, Bring it. <laughs> Attica! Attica! <laughs> exactly. Uh, they call him the Dormon. I haven't uh, cast Jay. any spells at all today. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, and you are locked in a cell. Uh, Dorman, please come with us. You are free to go. Uh, he walks out. Yeah, right yeah, there, motherfucker. Me too. <laughs> uh, as the Warforged clank off with the J, uh, someone you know has arrived. Phineas? Um, it is Phineas. Really? <laughs> Um, Hello, Phineas. <laughs> quick question. Of course. <laughs> Did you guys kill Prince Kennedy? No. Of course not. Of course not. We finished Is that why you're meal. here for the time travel? Is oh, there some, for the love Is there something in the time-space continuum that needs to be adjusted? No. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, no. <laughs> I have been sent over by our order to go ahead and uh, discover the meanings of the facts. Okay. Uh, we tell him as far as what we know. It's just like, uh, <laughs> tell him about my friend's uh, exuberant sense of curiosity that we had just met Eric Hocker at the Grand Academy. <laughs> And, and, and she was excited saw, to well, see them, when, the retinue. When we yeah. were with the Zeppelin in Cacophony and there was the air cockra that was floating around that we met. Remember? Way There's back. also the air cockra at the academy that got whatever from Mortimer. So, so you lied. Madison. That wasn't the first air cockra you met. <sighs> yeah. Oh, 
Oh. I see. So, is this a pattern of lying that you are now displaying? Can I punch him in the throat? No, she oh. was just recalling the first time that we had seen one. That I'd ever so. seen one. So, and that was, was Cacophony really or pretty. the Grand Academy? The Cacophony was the first one that we had seen. And he was really pretty. Do you have anything I can go on to try and save you? Other than uh, investigating the uh, what we had seen, and that's about it. What we building can only was give this? Our, 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 our eyewitness account. That's it. What what building was this window thing in? Uh, I believe it's not a building. The I'm not not sure what its name is. <laughs> it's the Dealey Plaza Peekaboo Lounge. There, what, there you go. What's the lounge that Jack Ruby owned? Hang on a second, folks. Right. Let's do a little history lesson here. Uh, <laughs> the Jack Ruby Lounge. Oh, the Skyline. There you go. <laughs> okay. It is the Skyline. No, uh, it's the Peekaboo Lounge. Uh, okay. um, are you aware that that is a uh... <clears throat> a place of ill repute? Brothel? No, we were not aware. <laughs> We've only been here like how long have you been here? Five days? Two days. Day and a half. Day We've and only half. been here a day and a half. And you've already killed Prince Kennedy. We didn't fucking kill <laughs> Prince Kennedy. Blew up a uh, a toxic balloon and uh, fixed a cheese. I am gonna <laughs> punch him in the throat. <laughs> uh, if you would like, uh, I will go investigate your claim. Well, I don't know. You don't seem to be very confident of our innocence. Until the facts go ahead and reveal themselves, I go ahead and maintain a uh, middle of the road approach. In that case, you need all the facts. So I tell him our complete itinerary for the day, what we had seen, you know, up through the incident at Dirigible Minotaurs! You came here with Minotaurs? Yes. Why is that a thing? They're pirates. No. And no, who's no. this Rosa person? How, how are they a pirate? Minotaurs are a pirate race. No, they're privateers. Hmm. Uh, and who's this Rosa person? Um, uh, we don't know her anymore. <laughs> <laughs> A long time ago, we used to be friends. <laughs> so the Order of Pick, assassin monks, are searching for a friend of yours. No. A pirate. And you arrived here on a pirate vessel. A, a vessel. privateer. They would they they were working in an official capacity. So did you really travel in time. Yes, we did. Maybe Mortimer is actually here and we can contact him and he'll take us away like Calgon. That's right. No, we're Dial. we're on we're on the current timeline, so no, I don't well, I don't maybe. know. It is possible. Maybe not. It is possible. <coughs> I will believe you. Oh, gee, thanks. I will go investigate to see what I can see. That is the best I can do. And we will reveal more of what we know about time travel to you. Which means I won't punch you in the throat. Hey, he didn't do this. <laughs> He's known you uh, an hour. I, I asked him, did you make it to the to the library in time. I was being uh, disciplined by my section master. Was I he spanking apologize. your ass? I was late. He was using a rod. Oh, that's oh. good. Big veiny rod. Mm, nice. Lucky <laughs> you. I I will I will return, uh, hopefully with good news. In four weeks. Noba, you know, <laughs> the color You guys, being political assassins, of are course. kept in the cell by yourself. Well, that's a plus. Of course. That's so a plus. You, you are away from general We're popular. not getting ass raped. 
not getting ass raped, not getting Dewey tattooed. Right. <laughs> not having to kill everybody who tattooed your ass. Or uh, rage or kill a puppy. So, but but you are in the clink for a full two days. Yes. I'm glad uh, we chose this path. <laughs> after, it could have been worse. After two days, uh, Phineas comes back. So this is day four, <laughs> and you spent okay. two days in the clink, which is awesome. No I love, right. I, I love the path that you took. No I really got to say, yeah. No, they, they feed you. Oh, it's, thank uh, God. It, it's actually, because this is an enlightened society, uh, they actually lobster? feed you lobster Ugh. because that's what they fed prisoners in Massachusetts. Because it was <laughs> gross. It was considered gross. Uh, so, jail. <laughs> so, <laughs> around noon, Phineas comes in, flanked by two warforged, uh, and asks each one of you uh, to go into an interview cell with them alone. With of Phineas course. or the Warforged? Phineas. Okay. Of course. Of course. Uh, one, one Warforged will take you, one Warforged will guard the other one. Uh, when you get into the room, who wants to go first? I will. Yeah, Camille will go first. You, you get into the room, and there is a female in uh religious robes that you recognize from the church mm -hmm. uh she is a female she is not the high priestess uh she is younger uh than the high priestess but kind of middle-aged for a gnome so is she wearing yeah. a miter uh she is not wearing a miter so she is not a honcho uh but she is sitting in on the interview uh aside from the Religious robes, you can't really tell. Zadar, a short time after Camille leaves, uh, the Warforge uh, escorts you to another room. There is a male cleric, gnome, uh -oh. sa same thing, just sitting there waiting patiently. And uh, Sharon Stonen. <laughs> nice. Nice. Uh, Phineas will start with you, Camille, and asks you to go ahead and try and recite everything that you can possibly remember. From what? From the time you met the Aarakocra to the time that you were arrested. So, initially, I guess... The first day that we were there, I saw, saw the Eric Hawker walking down the street. I was like, very interesting. And so then that day, when everything happened, I was like, hello, I would like to talk to you and have a conversation. And then everything went to shit. I assume you expound a little bit better than that. Yes. <clears throat> Phineas asks if you would be willing to undergo a treatment what kind of treatment it is a painless treatment uh you are put into a trance uh and shall we say certain opinions are divined from your state of uh being sure you're gonna be hypnotized that's fine i can do that give me a wisdom save oh boy Um, well, I rolled a one. <laughs> sure, weak mind. Uh, Zadar, yes. you go in, the cleric's just sitting there, not doing anything. I cross and uncross my legs like nice. stone. stone. <laughs> you'll, uh, you'll notice maybe what I'm not wearing. <laughs> and maybe you'll notice he's a eunuch, but probably Ugh. not. Uh, you, you can't really tell time frame, uh, but Phineas walks in and asks if you can recite everything that happened from the time you initially met the Aarakocra to the time of your arrest. Uh, yes. I recant, recount our first encounter with Camille in the city. We're talking about the Aarakocra in the city, correct? Here. 
in yes. Nathan. Yes. Yes. So, so uh, I recount that I cover our entire movement <coughs> all the way up to dirigible farms and all the way up to meeting him for lunch. So. Okay. Well, he's more concerned about you seeing the Arakakura, which you didn't notice from the first time. No. So the first time you met him is when Camille's like, oh, hey! Exactly. Okay. Uh, he asks if you would undergo a procedure, a painless procedure, uh, to go ahead and divine certain facts. Uh, sure. Wisdom save. Okay. Uh, there's also a question that I'll have. Sure. Uh, the wisdom save, uh, yeah, is not very good. It's a six. Okay. And your question? My question is, okay, I don't think a changeling has to concentrate to keep his form. Okay. That's fair. I, I'm not sure. That's a I, I'm decision. Not, yeah, I'm not overly concerned about that. Okay. So, yeah. No, that's... Because that would be another X against yeah. Z Zadar. It, it, yeah, it would be, and I honestly I didn't consider it. So, uh, did either one of you tell any lies, or did you tell the truth to the best of your abilities? No, I told the truth. Yeah, we both told the truth to our best abilities. Okay, yeah. you are returned to your cell uh, later that night, probably around dinner. Uh, the Warforged returns. Uh, Phineas returns, and what appears to be a magistrate. Uh, arrives. Uh, the Warforged unlock the door and tell you you will follow us now. Okay. Uh, you are led off into a large chamber, uh, judicial in nature. Uh, the magistrate type person climbs a short set of stairs and goes up and sits on the high pulpit uh, and asks you to retell your story again. Perception check, both of you. Okay. <laughs> you know, this is only good because you're a police officer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Crap. 18 for Zadar. Okay. 19. Do you notice that your respective clerics are at the back of the room just sitting? Uh, you retell your tale to the magistrate? Mm -hmm. Okay. The two yeah. Warforged are on either side of the room. They do not seem overly concerned that you are going to make a break for it or anything of that nature. Right. Uh, Phineas stands by you uh, and just doesn't say anything. He lets you guys tell your tale. The magistrate then calls the two clerics up and asks for their assessment. It is at this time that you find out that you were in a zone of truth and neither of you uh, concealed anything or uh, appeared to be hiding anything. Your answers, to the best of their knowledge, are true and accurate, and they do not feel that you are guilty of the crime. A voice from the back is outraged, uh, and it is the Dormon. And he's pissed and asks to speak to the magistrate. He comes up, looks at you both, and points out his viewpoint. The magistrate listens to him. He's venting. He's pissed. And he's, he's a big boy. Mm -hmm. uh, the magistrate lets him vent for a short time and then calmly points out that the brother and the sister of the temple both use their magical skills and they do not believe that you guys have been deceptive but he then pushes down a box to phineas and asks if either one of you recognize this item as phineas takes the box the warforged move in and are just off your shoulder phineas opens the box and it is a hand crossbow. Uh, Phineas says, don't touch it. 
<laughs> right. <laughs> I wasn't the planning for, on it. The Warforged are right on top of you. Yes. Uh, you notice that it is uh, black, wood, polished, high sheen. Uh, it, it, it's expensive. I mean, it's really expensive. There are no bolts to it. Uh, so even if you did grab it, it would be ineffective to fire. Okay. What would you, what would you like to do? Um. I have to excuse myself from the game for a second. Sure. Um, I will be right back. Camille, you can sure. take over. <laughs> no, I'll be right back. Sure. Okay. Camille, what do you want to do? So there's no prints on it. There's no nothing. It's only in a box right now. You may ask to see it. Uh, I would not grab it uh, willy nilly. If so I were why are we even bringing it out? Phineas explains that this is the item that he found in the window uh, that you pointed out to him. So he believes this is the murder weapon, and he wanted to know if the, the magistrate wanted to know if either of you recognized the item. <laughs> Why would he ask this that? Obviously, we would say no. Well, sorry, I thought I had an emergency. <laughs> no problem. Uh, you do not know, but you do know that the priests have cast Zone of Truth on you at least once. <laughs> okay, well, I don't recognize it. Zadar, do you recognize this item? Again, you know if, if you wish to examine it, you may ask. Um, I'm going to follow Phineas's advice and not touch the device. I will just okay. look at it. Uh, is there any discernible markings on it? Uh, both of you have asked that. I will take investigation by both of you. Uh, oh, 17 for Zadar. Yeah. One. No. Uh, Camille, you did not notice any markings. Zadar, you noticed something on the the curved handle. Uh, but it is, it is on the underside of the curved handle. Uh, the butt of the weapon. Uh, if you will. Uh, but in its current resting spot, you cannot tell. Okay. Uh, but I do notice that something is there. Mm -hmm. Okay. It, it's an engraving uh, with an inlay. Okay. I, I tell that to Phineas, that they're looking at this device. I see that there is an engraving on the underside. Phineas asks the magistrate if he can remove the weapon from the box. The magistrate grants him that right. Phineas then lifts it out of the box, and on the butt of the handheld crossbow is a very flashy letter. That letter is an R. Yeah. It is gold embossed into this black polished wood. Okay. Um... Do you but, recognize this weapon? True, truthfully, I do not recognize that crest. I had never seen it before. <laughs> That's so, fair. Um, to my knowledge, yeah. I do not know what that crest is. I can make some assumptions. <laughs> I am ready to make my ruling. Oh, okay. Lord. With the use of magic and the members of the temple here to provide that answer, it is the court's opinion that you did not have anything to do with the assassination attempt. The dolman squawks loudly there's got to be a butt here somewhere however mm. <laughs> <laughs> however <laughs> i am going to allow the investigation to continue uh you may or may not be aware that prince kennedy will pull through <laughs> yay however you will be required 
to stay in the city until the investigation is complete. That's fine. But of course. Um, you may be asked to return here and you should do so immediately. Sure. Further, mm -hmm. I am going to have Colonel Clank. Clank? I think I said Clank, didn't I? <laughs> I'm yeah. just kidding. Colonel Clunk. Colonel Clunk will be near you at all times. Even when I'm in the bathroom? Not when you're in the bathroom. Okay, thank uh, you. <laughs> he will ensure that you do not leave the city. Um, yeah. I asked the magistrate you, uh, if I may speak. Go ahead. Um, in our travels, we are kind of experienced in investigations. <clears throat> I know it would be a conflict of interest, but we'd be willing to assist in any way that we can. Under the supervision of Colonel Clunk. Of course. I will allow it. The Dolman ain't happy at all not at all and he gives off a very menacing persona is he throwing his wings out not yet you can just tell that all of his feathers on his face are ruffled and he's just kind of uh angry birding you can is it yeah. and, like punch him in the throat uh that would not be a wise idea that would not be a wise idea <laughs> um Colonel Clunk is I'm very the, angry about this. That's fine. Uh, so is Colonel Clunk. Uh, the investigation will pursue. Uh, the uh, Aarakocra will also uh, be given full reign. Uh, May I make a statement? Go ahead. You want a shovel to dig this hole? <laughs> I, I would say you are in the judicial hall and this guy is in full control. So I is would, uh, Colonel Clank an investigator himself? He is not. Oh. I, I would I would caution you that the mood in the chamber is that your freedom hangs in the balance. But you will be allowed to make a statement. Go ahead. No, no, I won't. I will do it at the end when we're uh, found exonerated. Exonerated. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> and then I'll punch him in the throat. Mm, probably not. Mm, uh, yeah. <laughs> the Dolman will leave in a huff to go ahead and report to the people. Yeah. His people. Go molt. Go uh, molt. <laughs> you will be released uh, with the proviso that Colonel Clunk will go ahead and be your watchful eye to make sure that you do not leave. Uh, Phineas will point out uh, that he has taken a copious amount of notes and he will go ahead and get those over to you uh, on the discoveries that he made at the brothel. Uh, he will point out that there might be something else that the court didn't see oh, uh, that he will show to you. Uh, hoping, hoping that it will jog your memory. Uh, and he, he will happily point out uh, that he has confirmed your account that you are indeed time travelers. Oh, yay! But we're murderers. You are murder hobos. <laughs> uh, as you guys leave the Hall of Justice, perception check. Uh, perception. Uh, Twenty-one. Five. Uh you're looking around for the dolman period so you can throat punch him zadar however notices a pair of lovers just outside the hall of justice wait they're just gonna let us out yes a pair of but i thought they were gonna again? follow us around colonel clunk is going to follow you okay. around yeah a pair of lovers uh they are just horridly going at it oh, they're like Lord. teenagers oh lovers okay sorry it cut out for a second i was like wait what <laughs> okay <clears throat> all right uh, you get the feeling you know these people and as you kind of ponder them phineas says 
These are the individuals that were able to go ahead and confirm your story. At this moment, the lovers separate, and it is none other than Eros. Yeah, of course. And his witch companion. Oh. What did you guys do? Well, this is serendipitous. <laughs> I don't know what that means. I'm throat punching everybody. That's what's going to happen. It is good to see you. Uh, Did you go to Dirigible Farms? Did you see your uncle? Uh, Yeah, uh, that's where we came in at. And he, I'm sure he has a lot of questions for you. (laughs) He he is very pleased with the progress I did on the prototype. He's very happy. He doesn't much care for Mortimer, though. How does he know Mortimer? Mortimer's the one that recalled me. He asked me to bring him here to Andorra. He's in town. God damn it, I knew it. Um, <sighs> with that, we end tonight's episode so you critters can go watch the other show and my wife throat <laughs> me instead. Uh, David, what'd you think? I thought it was pretty good. And we took the past the path of least resistance. So yeah, I figured that would be for the best. <laughs> You know, it wasn't the most flashy thing to do, but hey, you know, it put us on a path. Yeah, I was I was ready for your options, so I I don't mind that at all. I found it curious that you took that one, but eh, you know, whatever. Yeah. Uh, Hey, Carrie. No. What'd you What'd you think? (laughs) Just go on without me. Hey, but either way, we end up in an investigation. So you you know know. how I feel about time travel. Yeah. Uh, said anything about time travel? Mortimer, Mort- Mortimer is in this time frame, boys and girls. Uh-huh. Uh, of course, if you remember the classic Star Trek episode where McCoy was suffering from dementia and time hopping with Edith Peeler, it and comes you know. and goes, huh? <laughs> yeah, could be. Uh, ancient. Folks, this has been Murder Hobo Ink the Cacophony Edition. We hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you did, let us know. Also, don't forget to follow us on Twitch. Follow us on Twitter. Take a look at our YouTube archive. If you want to shoot shit about DD, join our Discord. Uh, if you want to play in Saturday's One Shot or uh, be a guest on don't do our it. show on Tuesdays, You'll be at Mobile Inc., Twitter, or Gmail. You'll be sad uh, forever. If, if you need some custom dice, uh, nope. go over to Twitter and hit at pirate dog dice and tell her you got cheese and java for her uh and of course if your game stinks uh which was probably the opinion of camille uh grab yourself some adventure sense from oddfishgames.com they also make a shine system if you want to write gooder than me Uh, ass right now and they are working on getting their kickstarter out of rpg with your cat out to everybody. Folks, for all of us here at Murder Hobo Inc., and we will catch you later. Let's kiss and wave, boys and girls. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 and you're <laughs> muted. And done. <laughs>